Well, both campaigns are heavily targeting North Carolina. The Biden campaign expanding from just the headquarters in Raleigh to add locations across the state. Meanwhile, Republicans are hoping some high level North Carolina connections in the Trump campaign can keep the state red. It's your biggest fans in North Carolina. The At the NCGOP convention in Greensboro, Trump touting his ties to the Tar Heel state with son Eric and North Carolina born daughter in law Laura Trump on stage calling into a room of supporters. You know, it's a state that we did very well in, and we're doing well, we're winning, we're winning big. North Carolina, a must-win state as Republicans play defense to try and hold the state for Trump a third time in November and flip the governor's mansion with Mark Robinson. The two-day NCGOP convention also getting national attention in the Veep stakes. Two potential Trump running mates are taking the stage tomorrow, Vivek Ramaswamy and North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum. It's also a chance for newly minted GOP chair Jason Simmons to make the case to North Carolinians, including unaffiliated voters. Making sure that they understand the binary choice of this election cycle, more of the same from Joe Biden and his uh, policies that have been so destructive to our economy and to our country, uh, seeing the migrant crime, the fentanyl that's pouring over our southern border, as well as uh, the inflation that's just out of control. But Democrats see opportunity. DNC Chair Jamie Harrison was here in North Carolina today and believes our state is a prime target for Biden to flip in a rematch after just narrowly losing the state in 2020. Will it be somebody who preached nothing but bigotry and hatred and division from the White House for four years? Or will it be a man who wakes up every single day not thinking about payback and retribution, but thinking about how we can make America better for all of America's people? Democrats hoping to expand from their base in urban areas like the Triangle and Charlotte into more rural areas, opening a brand new office today in Smithfield. They believe a blue North Carolina could be a sleeper. When they start calling all of those races on election night, uh -huh. I want them to say, oh my God, <laughs> what's going on in North Carolina? <laughs> Let's turn it blue, y'all. Tom George, ABC 11, Eyewitness News.